this is the Airship Chefs and the Brass Spectacle. And we're here today to bring you something chocolatey and full of calories that's probably good for all of you skinny, starving college students out there. It's also really easy to make, like all you need is cupcake mix. Or well, cake mix. Cake mix. Cake mix can be made. We looked for cupcake mix, and this lady we saw looked at us like we had grown a second head, and then can proceeded to turn that head retarded. Yeah. So just get cake mix. Your choice of flavors. Uh, we have red velvet. Because red velvet is the most Del delicious thing on the face of the planet. It is. You can't deny that. It's really, really good. Um, also, the brand doesn't matter. We just happened to get Duncan Hines because it was on sale. Look for what's on sale. It's as easy as that. Um, so just make it according to the instructions on the box, which in this case is three large egg, one and a quarter cup of water, and a third cup vegetable oil. But I'm pretty sure, depending on, like, if you get, like, Devil's Food or German Chocolate or Vanilla, I'm pretty sure it's different for each one. I think this has more eggs because Red Velvet is supposed to be ridiculously moist. Yum. And then you're going to need fruit. We got cherries. Um, we got the pitted cherries in a can because we don't know how to pit cherries by ourselves. We were going to get maraschino cherries, but we couldn't find them. Yeah, they don't really have any at the store. Which is well, not, sad. Not cheap, anyway. Oh, yeah. Which is sad because those things are fucking delicious. They're delicious. That's our oven going on. I could eat an entire jar by myself. Right. That would be our oven. Um, this is preheat the oven to 350, so we did. Again, I'm pretty sure that varies based on what you're making. I don't know. So let's get this started. So what you want to do is you want to Follow the instructions on the back, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. But for this, you just take... Oops. Come on now. Behave with me. One spoonful to just kind of get it in the bottom. You might need a little bit more because it's not coming out as it should. Curse this spoon. Make that two spoonfuls. Just to kind of, you know, get some in the bottom as a thing. And, and then, then place one cherry. Yep, one cherry smack in the middle. And then more on top. And then cover it. I'm trying not to drip. I'm dripping everywhere. I don't Remember, care. it's okay to lick it up if it is your kitchen. Do not do so if you do not know where that counter has been. Yeah. Also, because these are pretty much just going to feed us and my boyfriend later, I'm not afraid to, like... Get germs all over the place. Get a little germy everywhere. Um, but yes, if you do stick your hands in your mouth or anywhere near your face, do remember, culinary students who... that. I am talking to, please remember to wash your hands with soap. Get yep. everywhere, under your hands, up to your wrists, and between your fingers. Otherwise, you might just give your family salmonella. Yep. And we don't want that. No. We don't want that on our heads. We don't want anybody giving anybody salmonella. Al unless it's ourselves. And yep. then that's just our fault. Well, then, yeah, again, that's our fault. Then we have no one else to blame except us. And that's fine. Because we're okay with blaming ourselves, because we did it to ourselves. Yep. So yeah, um, just do that. Bake according to the instructions on the box. And with any luck, they will turn out nice and moist. With a little baked cherry in the center. That would be like a delicious explosion of cherry flavor when you bite into it. Mm. I wish I could figure out how to make cherry cordial uh, truffles. Because then I could do that... With don't, don't start cupcakes. with me. Don't start with me. That's food porn. <laughs> Ugh. You will soon learn that speaking about food, especially good food around both of us, is like talking dirty to us. Yeah. Because this should be delicious. But, um, yeah, the original post that um, I'll link to the Tumblr, it had chocolate, I think, and they were putting raspberries in it. But we were like, red velvet and cherries. So, uh, uh, whatever suits your fancy. Yeah. Uh, cake mix of choice, fruit of choice. You could even uh, take vanilla and put chocolate in it. Why didn't we think of that? True, make a vanilla cupcake mix and put chocolate chips in the center. 
or even Hershey's chocolate bars, like break them off into those little pieces. Oh yeah, well, okay. Yeah, see, we're generating ideas for you guys. Be happy. So we'll be back when these are out of the oven and hopefully looking deliciously tasty. We and forgot I'll... to buy icing. I have icing. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we need icing? Yes. At least a little. Okay, fine. All right, we'll be well, back. It's, it's Duncan Hines mix-ins with caramel. Mm -hmm. So caramel on red velvet with cherries in the center. That sounds good. Okay. Love it. <laughs> we'll be back for. Uh, we'll be back when we're done giving ourselves food boners. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and we're back with the magical cupcakes. Uh, as you can see, we frosted them. God, so, those look so good. <laughs> I wish we had invented smell -a vision Right, they smell good. So uh, let's recap what these are for the rest of you. These are red velvet cupcakes with a cherry baked into the center, frosted with caramel frosting. And we might put sprinkles on them later because I have like a crap ton of sprinkles. And my camera woman has like the biggest food bar. It's hilarious. <laughs> you shall know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, these are super easy to make. Um, as long as you got a box of cake mix. Box of cake mix, some fruit, and some frosting. That's really all you need. So have fun. Enjoy. Make I know we sometimes. will. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And my boyfriend should be here like any minute, so. We'll just be scarfing down cupcakes and stuff. <laughs> what? Sorry. Oh, come on! That was not a dirty joke. <laughs> okay, we're going to end this before I make any more weird faces behind the camera for She's Annika, pretty, pretty too. Pretty weird faces. Well, this is Lilith and Annika signing out. See you guys on the next one. Bye.